hello guys welcome to intact board in this video I'm going to show you how to create a beautiful login page for your desktop application for this we'll just create a frame okay uh, this is login something like this sorry new this login sorry JFrame and it's login just click finish yeah so we are ready with the class and now I'll just click on this yes okay and I have some uh, default bond settings for this uh, login page so one second <laughs> oh <sighs> sorry it took a little while so I have uh, some default bonds here I'll just paste it like this I'll run again again so you can see the frame here I'll just try to design it so I don't want to see this uh, top panel so I'll just write uh, set undecorated false true set set undecorated true one second it's just Set undecorated to so you can see. Okay, let just show you the reason now. You can see the top thing is gone, so I'll just try to change the background color oh, to some blue. Yeah, this is done, and I'll just make the two text fields. To close, I'll just click on this and I'll close. Close, sorry, this close perfect. I'll just run it so like this. So I'll just try to add a look and fill. look and feel dot your desktop property dot once again One second. I have already, uh, I'm already having some classes. One second. I'll just go to some other class. A dashboard. It's too early. I have created this. So I'll just copy it. I'll just paste it here. I'll just copy this thing. I'll just paste it here. So I get the system looking real. Yeah. And now um, I'll just remove this one second. I'll double click to make it log. So, yeah, got it. So I'll just add two text fields here and I'll add one more. So I'll just add one more text field here just uh, let me make a little bit more clear got it now sorry this will be a password field so i'll just take the password field from this place yeah perfect i'll just go up 
so here you can add your logo at this place or you can write something like uh, login one second or write something like uh, login so center I just wanted to make it in center and I give some size for this I'll increase a little bit more 20 bold this will be better so I'll just make it white color perfect okay the sauce I'll just make sure these are all in center yeah so I'll just make this inputs a little bit more attractive so I'll just go for the bevel emboss dual border which will be lowered this looks like it's feel input you can see the border inside and for this I'm going to make it a double folds and I'll just decrease the size of this yeah and uh, I'll just change the background color of this so you can make it opaque to make uh, mix with the background I'll just make a opaque sorry not this I'll just just the text fields I'll just make the opaque pole so that it gets transformed with things I'll change the login background color to say some uh, okay let it be I'll just click like this and uh, change the border to bevel border but raised which you will have a button look feel here but uh, I just click on it I'll enter the name login L O G I M login and the close I'll just make them to appear in center right in center and I'll increase the size of it perfect and uh, I'll change the foreground color of this to white now this is looking more better and I'll just compile this once whether yeah it's compiled you can see okay. one second I'll just move it to a little bit right it is too got it so I'll just change the foreground color of the text to that will be the same color and I'll increase the font size to 40 got it oh sorry so uh, action mouse click yeah and I'll just uh, write this tool this post letter here this post letter right something like this yeah I just wanted to give hand cursors when I hover on that. I'll just give hand cursor. Text cursor to hand cursor. Right. I'll just click on it. Yeah, that's it. Work fine. Now. I'm going to place a few icons here. So I'll just click like this. And I'll just click like this. So I have some icons in my project. 
will just show you them uh, here are you, uh, images so I'm going to use few of this so profile okay one second so this is one and uh, So this both I can use most probably. One second, it's NY's close. So this icon and this icon most probably. So I'll just copy this both and I'll create a source folder in this. So I do have a source folder directly in this. So uh, they are already there. So I just need to know the user and the logout, right? So I'll click on this and uh, I'll just uh, hold for an image. One second. Yeah, it's here. I'll just click on icon and class path, and I'll click the same here too. Like this, and uh, I'll just remove the text for this both. I'll just make them to appear in center. One second. Yeah, this is look fine. So I'll just click on this. Okay. I'll click on user. And uh, so I have the user dot png. So it's just user, not users. So I'll just go click on the source and I'll just call users U as users. Sorry. US E oh that's it. I'll just run it. Perfect. I got the icon here. So it's better to use uh, like this sorry and I'll go for the lock uh, so I'll just keep the same here and uh, I'll call the lock here so I already have a lock png here I'll just go into source code I'll just call lock and I'll just run it One second, sorry, that was wrong. This is perfect. I should just go to this and add an icon first to this so that this will let you use the work of uh, writing the icon code. So I'll just move this and just write lock or something like this. Got it. So I have a smaller image here, so you can go with the bigger one so something like this okay I'll just write some validation code now I'll write validation so I'll just give this here And write it something like this. And uh, we'll try to make it look in red color. I don't know how it looks like. One second. Not so good. I'll just make it in some different color. Uh, this looks a little better, I think. I'll just go with some other color. 
not cool okay i'll just go with white that will be it. so by default this will be a validation field validation i'll just come a little down and i'll remove the text and i'll make this of the body to this instant so this where login so this is username and this is password right so i'll just write a on this mouth clicked so i'll just write here something like uh, if uh, his name dot get text dot equals to say hello and password field dot get text dot equals to um, say world and uh, I'll just say the option pin dot show message dialog I just write uh, null null and uh, I'll just write information I'll just write login successful login successful and else I'll just use the validation field since label dot set text invalid user name or password right I'll just so I'll click on this so I'll just write some I'll click on login invalid username or password you can see here so I'll write hello world and uh, yeah logged so when the login is successful I just want to disappear this when I hover on this I just want to disappear this so for that I'll just use focus gained so I'll write to keep best sorry when focus gained action focus gained so I'll just so validation dot set text I'll just keep it like this our uh, the password field dot focus gained I'll just make it same so something like when I try to do like this and ta -da -da, login username password I'll click on this again I'll try hello world login so something like this so when you're successfully logged in you can write some xyz method there so that will help you guys so in the next video we'll be discussing about login uh, sorry like data entry with validations and Thank you guys, thank you.